I've been with my girl for probably more than 13 years. She done cheated on me on multiple occasions, and it messed me up over the years. When she say, like, trust issues, what? Man, I know I got trust issues. We've been, I've been through so much. You know what I'm saying? I've been through a lot. My girl, Kiara, I caught her cheating at least seven times. At least. That's at the least. But, yeah, snooping, going, man, I was my own detective. Everybody would thought I was crazy. I thought I was crazy. Texts and phones, ex-boyfriends, and I would catch sexual messages. It was so many messages about different stuff. Just, you know, people went to me, pull up at my house, or people that she say she didn't know, and then come to find out later on she knew these people. Any man will be like, bro, that's too much. Ain't my problem. You know what I'm saying? But life ain't simple. I want Kiara to be honest. That's it. Be honest. You should, nobody should live a lie, bro. I'm going to be honest about who I am. Yeah, Kiara says she hasn't cheated since 2019. But I don't believe her. She give me the, she give me the expression that she love me and she want to be with me. And yeah, all that, all that mushy, gushy stuff when your girl tell you when she come through the door. If it come back that she failed her test, then I'm going to know she lie all the time. I'm really just hoping, like, she lying, so she can then just be like, look, this what's up. Or may maybe she telling the truth and I'm crazy. Uh, that's your boyfriend, Cottrell, on a tape. Yes, Did sir. he really catch you seven times? Come on, Steve, Doc. I might have got caught probably, maybe three times, probably, if that. But I ain't cheating no seven times, especially not with seven different men. We've been together almost 13 years. The first part of the relationship, we were friends. We were like the best of friends. But then when we made it official, it was like he started going out more and I'm constantly begging for time. And when you didn't get give me time, what do you expect me to do? You, he expects you to go out and sleep with other men. I mean, he didn't, he don't expect me to just sit here and not be doing nothing. And, I'm not hearing from you. So you can't, like, go to your girlfriend's to a movie or... I could have, but, but you chose I to... wanted to feel comfort that day. Yeah, in a certain yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. After you get caught, like, twice, don't you, like, change your ways or... Did he, did he stop going to the strip club? Did you start showing me attention? Uh, is he having sex when he goes to I strip clubs? I don't know. I right. don't know. Does he ever admit that he's ever cheated no. on you? Okay. But you, how do you get caught? Like, does he catch you in the act? Okay, so, no, I didn't get caught in the act. Like, I would... That'd be would real go... embarrassing, right? <laughs> yeah, it would. Yeah. But he'll go through my phone. Like, he'll... And when he, he goes through stuff. my phone, he'll wake me up and, like, show me messages, like, who is this? Mm. And at first, I'll try to deny it, but... Yeah, you're blown up. And you're sending naked pictures of yourself. No, I have never sent naked pictures of myself now. Come on now. Uh-uh. I ain't never, that's one thing I don't know. Guys send about. naked pictures of themselves to you? I have had a couple mm. of naked pictures get sent yeah. me. You love control? Of course. I, I love But him. you cheat on him quite a bit. I did back then. When, how long have you stopped? In 2019, I stopped because we got up. Family, we got kids. You well, got he kids. identified my kids as how, kids. How were you able to go cold turkey? <laughs> I just stopped. I just felt I wanted my family. You didn't have to go to rehab or no, anything? No, I didn't have to go to rehab, <laughs> none of that. I just stopped sexing everybody who was sexing me. It was just mostly about the affection that I got. It wasn't the sex. Not really. It was the cuddling. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what I, I just wanted someone to, you know, beat up for me at the time. Yeah, of course. Uh uh uh. You, you if you gonna sit here and lie you me, with me, tell Cole. the truth. What's you, you rocking with me? Am no. I rocking with it? You rocking with me? No. I'm tell rocking these with folks you, the truth. Don't get on no video. That's that what I'm saying. Lying that about that's what you all think I'm, I'm doing, what Listen, you think I done did. What she told, it ain't even half of what I go through. Half of the stuff she telling y'all. I already went over this. She said it, it didn't happen. So the stuff she's saying now is stuff that she told me didn't happen. Okay, and I admitted to that what I, I did. Found out about. Okay, and I admitted to what I did. That though. I found out about. Listen. Okay, it, okay, after you found out and I admitted, if I, if, and if we I, talked if, about okay. this, it should have been over if with. If I got to find out about, if I got to go through crazy means to find out the way, it don't on matter. Which, and we then talked after about I find it. out, you we tell me you didn't do it. But I ain't we talked about it. Oh, now you going crazy. I ain't do nothing of this. 
Man, you okay, crazy. that was then, though. Girl. What about now? I look when crazy I said what now. She, what has she done to you? The same dude she telling you about. My friend. She, she didn't tell you. me this, though, before we got here. She didn't tell me oh. this. Did, you already you know knew about this. About what? Who I had dealings with. Yes, you did. Don't lie. Yes, you did. My thing is, and why, who what? you talking about? That ain't who I it was. So stop with that. I'm the, talking about, but inform me then. If you love me, you wouldn't keep taking me through the same stuff. You'll believe some of the stuff I say, even if you don't believe it all. You don't even give me a chance. Everything I come to you about, oh, that's a lie. Everything I you tell me, everything you say is facts, but you don't have facts about everything. Is there anything particular that has hurt you the most? The line, just the, the manipulative, see, manipulation, bro. And like, I ain't gonna lie, it just, it been like the last two, three years, I really looked that up and just started looking into it because like, it real, I mean, manipulation is real. You can be in a situation and not understand what's going on. Do you, like, do you believe that she loves you? I, yeah. I, I feel like it's more of an obsession than a love. Yeah. I mean, how somebody gonna love you, they keep doing you wrong. Will it matter if she passes her line? Detective test that she hasn't cheated since 2019. Will yeah, that matter? Gonna, to yeah, you? ain't gonna matter if she passed. It will right help. now it will. I'm yeah, saying oh, that yeah. will help because that means she maybe maybe she really has changed. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody makes mistakes, and if she woke up three years ago and says, "I don't want to hurt this guy anymore. I love him," she. She's... I'm gonna feel a little bit bad because I treat her like. A certain type of way from the from the time I met from she I treat her different now than I did when I met her, and it's because of you know Jay being hurt. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with you. I don't know how to take you. You feel what I'm saying? Like I don't know how to take you. So I deal with her different now than I did then. Right. So I'm gonna feel some type of way if she passed that test. Oh yeah, I'm feel some type of way. Either way, I'm gonna be happy because I know not knowing is just the the wondering kills you. Yeah, right? bro. Uh, Cutrell. You took a lie detector test. And we asked you, while being in a relationship with Kiera, did you have any sexual physical contact with any other woman other than the one she knows about? You answered no. While being in a relationship with Kiera, did you have any sexual intercourse with any other woman other than the one she knows about? You answered no. The results came back the same to each one of those, to, to those two questions, and it came back that Cottrell told the truth. Thank you. Kara took a lie detector test. And we asked her, since being in a relationship with Cottrell, did you have sexual physical contact with more than the four men he knows about? You answered no. Since being in a relationship with Cottrell, did you have sexual intercourse with more than the four men he knows about? You answered no. Since February of 2019, while in a relationship with Cottrell, have you had sexual physical contact with any other men other than Cottrell? You answered no. Since February of 2019, while in a relationship with Cottrell, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men other than Cottrell? You answered no. The answers, uh, the results came back all the same to those four questions, and it came back that Kiara told the truth. Thank you! He made the effort for the past three years. He don't care, he don't care. I think he does care. I think he really does. I think he was really hurt, and I think he really cares, and I think he... And, and along with you, you both seem like you've both been hurt, but you both want to make it work. And you can't make I'm, it work. I'm, but what you got to do is you got to leave the past in the past. I, I went through so much in the past couple of months. Y'all don't even understand how much stuff I went through. She went through a lot, though. Well, hopefully this helps now, right? She went through a lot, though. Okay. Well, you've both been through a lot. I hope this helps you. I hope he can leave the past in the past, and I hope that you guys, for the sake of your family, which you both have said, that's why you want to stay together, because you love each other, and because you have a family, I hope you both can make this work, okay? Good luck to you. 
I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too.